Hello everybody, welcome to Digital Image Processing Tutorial video. In this video, I will show you how to load, display, and save image using different Python library. The first library is Python Image Library or PIL or just PIL. Let us import this library from PIL import image. To load an image, we use the image.open and as input, we input the image file name. Let us run this cell. To display the image, we use the im.show method. This method will open a Windows Photo apps and display the image. Next, you can save the image using the im.save and the input is the file name. As you can see here, now I have this PIL image. And if I open, it save the same image. Okay, good. Now let us continue to the next library, which is the matplotlib. Usually, we import the matplotlib.pyplot as a plt. To load the image, we can use the plt.imread function. And to display the image, we use the plt.imshow. If your image is a grayscale image, not a color image like this one, you need to specify the color map or the cmap variable equal to gray. Now, to save the image variable, we use the plt.imshow function. There are two input here. The first is the file name and the second is the image variable. Alright, as you can see here, I have the PLT image, okay, which is the same image. Next, I will use the scikit image library. Let us import the library from scikit image.io import imread, imshow, and imsave. To load the image file, we use the imread function. In this function, you can set a variable s underscore gray equal to true to load your image as a grayscale image. Because this is a color image, so I don't specify that variable. To show the image, we use the imshow function. As you see here, there is a tag here. This text indicates that this function were built on matplotlib. And to save the image, we use the imsave function. This function is similar to plt.imsave. We need to specify the file names and the image variable. Alright, so this is the result image. Okay, this is the same like the other one. The last library is the OpenCV. Let us import this library. To load an image, we use the cv.imread function and we input the image file name. We also can specify the second variable 0 or 1. If you put 0, this function will load the image as a grayscale image and if you put 1 or you don't specify anything, this function will import this image as a color image. Okay. To display the image using OpenCV, we need three lines of code. First, we use the cv.imshow. Then we input the window name and image variable. This function will pop up a window, that is why we put the window name here. Next, we need to use the cv2.white key to specify how long do we want to display the image. Here I write 0 means infinite time or keep opening the window until I close it. The last code is the cv2.destroy all windows. Without this function, we will get an error when we close the window. Ok, let us run this cell. The cv2.imshow function will display the image in real size. This image that I am using now has a larger size than my monitor resolution. That is why you see this big image. To save the image using OpenCV, we use the cv2.imread function. The input variable is the file name and the image variable. Okay, let us run the cell to save the image. Okay, it's written true, mean we save the image. Alright, that's all from this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial video.